another day in Riyadh, and on today's menu, we're going to be trying out some shawarma. Being an Arabic country, I've got some high expectations for this, and for it being one of my favorite foods, I've got even higher expectations. I've got a few spots that I'm supposed to hit up because they've been raved about by many people, and apparently if you don't try certain spots here, you haven't been to Saudi. So let's give it a go. Okay, we are at Beit Shawarma, which translates to House of Shawarma, or Shawarma House, I guess. And right now, we got the beef shawarma and a mini chicken shawarma, traditional style. So this is gonna have parsley in it, onion, tomato, and tahini sauce. And I believe it's called lipit. I don't know what it is in English, but it's like this purple pickled turnip. Uh, that's what it is. But if you look inside of that, thinly shaved beef, looking pr proper. And let's give it a go. The bread itself is not actually like a pita bread, it's kind of more so like a tortilla. It's got some crisp to it, so that's pretty nice. It's good enough. The beef itself flavored amazingly. The tahini sauce is not overly tahini, so it's not overbearing. Like, I would probably ask for extra sauce next time I came here. Onions are shredded thinly, or cubed actually, which is nice, so you don't get too much onion in one bite. Everything's kind of like blended together, which is fantastic. The only thing I don't like is the bread itself. It's a little bit doughy, in my opinion. Like, I would just prefer regular pita bread, um, but that would just be the only thing I would change about here. I think the beef is just actually, it's just, it's, it's perfect. The beef is phenomenal. It's probably one of the better shawarmas I've had in my life. Yeah, if I could substitute the sandwich to have Arabic bread versus this tortilla looking thing, I would do that, but this is this is this is fantastic. We also got the traditional sandwich. So this right here is the chicken shawarma, which if you look inside, it's just chicken, pickles, garlic, and French fries. I'm assuming this place is Syrian, considering this is a Syrian style shawarma. Just these little mini bites here, right, right here. These toppings are specifically just Syrian style. I don't know if other places do it that way, but if you ask for a shawarma Syrian style, it'll be made like this. So <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Hands down, some of the best garlic I've ever had. I've had a few shawarmas in my life, um, <laughs> and garlic sauce is probably my favorite sauce in the whole world. It's got like the texture of mayonnaise between, so there's two ways of making garlic. You can make it kind of like cornstarch or the mayonnaise version. This is kind of in between. It's creamy like mayonnaise, but not overly creamy where I don't like mayonnaise personally, where it grosses me out. It's just, it's the perfect balance between the two. The chicken itself, very thinly shaped, lightly seasoned, still juicy. In terms of chawarma, this thing right here, this little mini bite, get three of these and you're set for the day. Like this is, this is probably the best chawarma, chicken chawarma that I've had. So far, I think bit chawarma comes up on top. <laughs> the best chawarmas I've had in a long time. There's not much to say about it. This is like 10 out of 10, you have to try this place. This is actually, it's fantastic, it's fantastic. And right here we have the honorable mention, which is the uh, the Smash Burger. I wasn't planning on getting a burger from here, considering it's House of Shawarma, but I was told that it's phenomenal. And it's pretty smashed, as you can see right in there. It's got cheese, lettuce, tomato, some sort of sauce on there. I'm hoping it's garlic, but I don't think it is. Let's give that a go. I'd probably give this about a seven. It's, it's great, don't get me wrong, the beef is good. I do like it a lot. The only thing I don't like is probably the sauce. I don't know what it is. It might be like a Thousand Island dressing sauce, like the Russian sauce, Big Mac sauce, whatever you want to call it. But the cheese itself is like, kind of like a craft single, but like a little bit overly processed where I don't like the taste. I had another place called Burger Hunch and that cheese was phenomenal. Um, I would recommend trying it if you like that overly processed cheese, but besides that, it's great, it's, it's, it's good. Uh, I probably wouldn't get it again just because the shawarma is too good to pass on. But uh, on to the next one. Okay, so pro tip, still here at Beit Um If you get the large sandwich, it comes in that tortilla, this thingy, which I'm not a fan of. Besides that, 10 out of 10 sandwich. Nine out of 10, including the bread. If you get the small sandwich, little bite-sized ones, they come in the Arabic pita bread, which is probably what you want when you come here. It just, it just makes it that much better. Also, this place has been here for like 25 years, so 100% come here, like, <laughs> you, you can't miss it. I'll be coming back probably later tonight as well. Also, they close out like three or four in the morning. So whenever you're free, just come on by.
Okay, we are now at Mama Noura. This is actually a staple here in Saudi Arabia. Like this is, all the other places that I've been to are must tries, but this is like the 100%, you gotta try this. Like if you came to Saudi Arabia, Arabia and you don't try Mama Noura, you weren't in Saudi. So I got the shawarma, a juice, because this place actually started off as a juice bar and just kind of evolved into this massive giant place that we have here today, where they make shawarma, they make uh, their bread itself, the pita bread, is actually made in-house here. There's nothing better than a fresh pita. So that's, that's a plus for sure. We'll give the juice a shot. I got the, the cocktail, the signature cocktail, which is, I think it was banana, strawberry, guava, and something else, which I'll put down on the screen. Mango, mango, that was it. So let's just see. It was banana, not mango. It's juice, fresh juice. Like, <laughs> you can't go wrong. Literally just blended up fruits, thrown into a cup. Great, great stuff. I don't know how this transitioned to this, but let's see. Once again, I think it's Syrian style, is my guess. I didn't order anything, I just asked for a small shawarma. And there we go. There's the beef on the fresh pita. You got your parsley, your onions, your tomato, and your tahini sauce. Thinly shredded, perfect. Give that a bite. So, it's got a slight gaminess to it. I think this is actually a bit of lamb mixed with beef, like it's not just pure beef. Lamb's not for everybody. For me, I personally love it. I wasn't expecting it, which kind of threw me off because I was expecting just a normal beef shawarma. But uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty delightful. The only problem is I let it sit for too long, so now it's actually like just breaking apart, so it's kind of annoying. I got no toppings on top of that. I didn't taste any of the sauce, but the meat itself is very good, very tender. Not the juiciest meat, I would say, but it is delicious. Um, let's get a bite with all the veggies. Tahini sauce. A little bit overly tahini, like sesame paste flavored. Um, I know it's supposed to be like that. I just prefer it to be a little bit lighter on the sesame side. But overall, good sandwich. I love the fact that it's lamb. Like that's just, that's my thing. On to the chicken. This wrapping is like a puzzle. Okay, there we go. It's a good amount of chicken for what you get. Again, Syrian style, you got the fries, you got the garlic and the pickle, and just um, the, short, the chicken slices itself. That's all you need, really, just a simple wrap. Chicken, phenomenal. It's got the extra crisp on it. It might just be because they're in a rush and they're actually just like, <laughs> just have it on high, full blast, like it's going hot. The chicken itself, so far, is my favorite, but the garlic itself is lacking. So, I've been to a couple spots already now. I think Vich Shawarma had the best uh, garlic sauce. If you had that garlic sauce on this chicken, this might take the crown. But uh, yeah, overall, Mama Nura, very good. Very, very fresh, everything's great. They're always pumping out Shawarma. Like you can see, this guy just added that big skewer onto there. Pretty insane, they got a lot of numbers going out. So it's obviously famous for a reason. I would highly recommend coming here. Okay, see what else we can find. Okay, after a couple more bites, the garlic on the chicken is actually, it's pretty good, but it's more mayonnaise-y texture, which I just don't like the texture of mayonnaise in general. I see mayonnaise and I get grossed out. I eat it and I just don't, I don't like to see it. But it is good, it is good. But I do think the sandwich, <laughs> like, it, it's another game. It's, it's in its own league. It's fantastic. Bring the garlic from Bitch I want to put that on this sandwich and you have like a 20 out of 10 sandwich. Like, you, you want nothing else after that. Get four of these and you're set. Next up, we got Usta Asim. Uh, I've been recommended this place by about like four or five people at this point, and uh, I can see why. It already looks delicious, haven't even eaten it, but the one thing that's nice about this is they have their own source of beef. Uh, it's all ethically sourced. They actually have videos of it playing as, as we're just chilling here. Like, you probably see it up there at some point, but ethically, everything is ethically sourced, so I'm happy with that. Without further ado, let's try one of their sandwiches. All right, already we are back with this interesting looking bread. It's kind of like a pita bread, but it's more of like, it looks like a hot dog bun, but it's actually the texture of pita, if you can see that. Freshly baked as well. They're breaking them here in the oven themselves, and then they stuff it with this like, nice beef shawarma meat, already preloaded, so you're good to go. Let's give it a go. It's fantastic. They mix the sauce and everything together as they're preparing it, so every vegetable that's in there is already pre-mixed with the meat. So as they shave it, they toss it, and then they stuff it into the sandwich. It's not overly saucy, 
but it's not dry either. Like it's just like the perfect amount of sauce with the meats. They've got it down to like an art at this point. Like if you see them preparing the sandwiches, incredible. But the source or the, the flavor of the beef itself is just, it's heavily seasoned with a perfect blend of chihuahua slices. Can't complain. Okay, next up we got the fries, which are pretty loaded, looking uh, pretty beefy, I gotta say. But let's give that a bite. Oh, buddy. It's got like a queso, like queso cheese, kind of like a nacho dip right in there. Uh, so it's got little cubes of fries, cheese, and then you got the shawarma beef on top with some tahini sauce and jalapenos. So let's go. Shawarma is one of my favorite foods. Like it is top three, and it is probably the top two in those top three. Beef and chicken shawarma are my top two favorites. This thing right here, just that one bite with the cheese and the beef, it's, <laughs> It's like heaven in a bite. This, I honestly think this might be better than the sandwich itself. Like, and that hurts me to say, but the fries are a solid 10 out of 10. Sandwich, I would say probably eight and a half, nine. Fries are a must. They also give you these little fried onions that you can just sprinkle on top for some extra perfection on the seasoning. And you're golden, you're set. There's nothing not to love about this place. Everything about it, locally sourced, delicious flavor. 100% you gotta come here. Mm -hmm.